just making a thousand and today I went in the backyard and guess what I found. We'll go find out. Here we go. So we went to the garden and this is what we got. Yep, we got us a big old pepper. What is this? What kind is this? Cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Hot, hot, hot. So, and look at all the, and they're starting to all change color. So, slowly, but they are changing. Man, we've been watching him. I told him to do a time lapse on his videos with this one. I'll do one. Yeah. Maybe be, tomorrow on the other one. Because it'd be really cool to watch how, the, how fast it turns that bright red. And then I figure we may get, um... Shea Bear to eat it on the video. What do you think, babe? Do you think yeah, she, she mentioned that a minute ago, guys? Yeah. She said, let's do a video on it. And I said, of eating it? She said, yes, of you eating it. I said, how did you go from let's do a video to you eating it? Huh. I think I'm recording. I don't see no numbers. Does it say Rick? Is it? Just this REC. Yeah, that's okay. REC. Record. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm recording. Anyway, so our garden's starting to look really good. He did get one of the big tomatoes and he took it off. And so it is all red now. And then I thought, well, I'll wait until I get this one. And then tomorrow night we could have tomato and mayonnaise and, and bacon sandwiches for dinner. That would be a nice little dinner. It's so hot out here, that's about all you want to eat. So I got all these coming. Dang, we got so many coming. We're going to be so tomatoed out. But I'm pleased because, I mean, you know, you never know what's going to happen to this when you do it, you know? Well, we've been eating a little one. Yeah, yeah, I've taken some off. I got some in the fridge that we're going to use for salads and stuff. And use them for salads and stuff. So. There's some down there that need to be picked, too, right now. So, anyways, and we had a little surprise today. So, when I get home, I'm sitting on the bed, and we're eating our dinner. And it's kind of thundering out a little bit. I can hear it from the distance. And it's not even supposed to rain today. So, I think it, it just... Sometimes when it's really hot here in Florida, you get thunder and, and lightning, and that's all you get. So I think that's basically what it was. But then we came out with Bruno, which Bruno is sitting right there right now. And we came out with Bruno. We heard, and Shaver went around the corner over here because he saw, I think you can see, he saw that right there. See, there's a woodpecker on it right now. So we wondered where the other part of the tree went. Well, let me show you where it went. See, so there's a woodpecker on it. Yep. Too. I think that's what's doing it. No, they only do it after they start rocking. So here we go, and it is an, it is the neighbor's tree. So. But we've always been afraid of this tree, and we told you that we were afraid. We've even showed videos of it, of uh, that one right there falling on my house. So we've always been afraid of that one coming down. But this is what happened. This one decided to come down. And look at how long it is. It goes all the way to the road. It is huge. So I had the neighbors come out. Look at this hole. Look, you see this hole? Yeah. Huge. And, uh, so I had the neighbors come out, and they're going to have somebody come and take the whole tree out because they're afraid of the other piece falling on my house, and uh, they don't want that happening either. So, wow, look at that. And they said we could take some of it if we want for, for wood so we could have fire, our fire thing going. So I don't know how much he could get because this is so big. You know, it's just so long. And it goes all the way over there. 
So that's what the noise was. So at least we weren't imagining the noise and thank God it didn't hit none of that over there because that wouldn't be good. So, and there you go. There is a woodpecker up there and he's pecking on that tree. Let me see if I can get him in. He's way, there he is. He's sitting up there pecking. Yeah, there's our buddy. He likes to peck. Ain't working hard up there. Yeah, there you see him. Keep your woodpeckers off our tree. <laughs> what? She said, keep the woodpeckers off our tree. Right, right. Yeah, she was funny. She said, keep your woodpeckers. She's an old lady. Yeah, she's an older lady. They're older than my mom and dad. So she used to be an RN. And uh, me and her had some really good trips. She, he's also going to decide to take that tree out too, he said? He said maybe. Yeah. That one we're not really worried about. No, I don't care because if it falls, it's just falling on property. But if they take this tree out, I'll be really happy. Because... I'm not worried about that one yeah. there. Yeah. It won't hit anything. No. But we've been afraid of this. And it's green. I mean, look at how green this is. And it is rotted. It's dead inside. Yeah, it's dead, but the leaves are all green. How does that work? Well, it's still getting water somehow. Yeah. So. But you can see right there how funky it is inside. Yeah. 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 So, that's my day for today. Tomorrow we're going to have the yard sale, which I said we would probably, um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of a vlog tomorrow on it. Me and Shea Bear can see how well we do. You know, I think people are starting to go back inside again, you know, with these, it is mandatory in Florida now to wear a mask. So, um, because we've spiked within a day, we spiked big time. I'm so glad I don't live in a big city. In our town alone. Yeah, so, Overnight. so we, we need to, to be very careful, but we'll wear a mask and we're just going to stay here and. And then next week I'm going to go up to the house and we'll do some more selling up at the house for her furniture. Um, I may have her house sold. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. To me it's not done until it's done. So we'll see what happens there. These people really want the house. So, so we'll see what happens. But I need to get the furniture out. So I need people to buy the furniture for me. So I can get it out of there. Anyways. So that's it for now. Monkey says she's out for now. Y'all have a good evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.